Hey friends, after studying stress and strain, we are now in a position to understand what do you mean by modulus of elasticity. Now, Hooke said that if you are to represent stress along y-axis and strain along x-axis, then up to the point called the elastic limit, which is defined as E, stress will be directly proportional to strain. That is, stress will be directly proportional to strain. That is, stress can be represented as C into strain. Now, the C is nothing but the modulus of elasticity. Now, C is equal to stress by strain. So, C, basically, the modulus of elasticity is the amount of stress required to produce one unit of strain. And this C has the same unit of stress because strain, as we know, has no units. So, basically, C is equal to Newton per meter square. Now, now this C can have different values, right, according to the different types of stress and strain. They can, it can be Young's modulus, it can be shear modulus, it can be bulk modulus, and let us see what are they. Now, we have normal stress, if it's directly proportional to normal strain, then we have sigma to be equal to E F sub. Now, this E is called the elastic modulus or Young's modulus. Then, if tau is proportional to gamma, then you have tau to be equal to g gamma and this g is nothing but called the shear modulus. Also, as we have seen, if P is the uniform pressure applied on all sides of the body and the body suffers a volumetric strain of Ev, then P is equal to Kev, where K is nothing but the bulk modulus. So this three modulus of elasticity are pretty important and the physical significance of this is greater, I should choose a material having greater modulus of elasticity. Why? Because greater the modulus of elasticity, that basically means that it can take in more stress for one unit of strain. So some kind of a very stiffer material will have obviously a greater value of modulus of elasticity. So stiffness is a function of modulus of elasticity, right? Now, the, the, there are some relations between this modulus, different modulus of elasticity. Now, the bulk modulus and this Young's modulus has a relation of k is equal to e by 3, 1 minus 2 times this. And the shear modulus and the Young's modulus has a relation of e by 2, 1 plus this. I will show one derivation <coughs> in the next lecture. And uh, there can also be a relation between k and g, which is effectively, if g is equal to nothing but e by 2, 1 plus this, and e is equal to 3k uh, into 1 minus 2 mu, 2, 1 plus mu. So k is equal to 2g by 3, this if moves up, it becomes 1 plus mu, by 1 minus 2 mu. So this is all for this lecture and I think you have enjoyed this and the next lecture what I will try to do is basically found out, find out the relation between uh, this and this and from the next lecture the real game will start the concept of bending the concept of all those things. So thanks a lot.